Hello, my name is Laura and I'm a member of the DonorBox team. Here at DonorBox, we aim to make nonprofit fundraising as easy and efficient as possible. I'm here to show you how to sign up for DonorBox, create your first campaign, and embed your donation form onto your website. First things first, you'll have to create your DonorBox account. Go to DonorBox.org and click the Sign Up for Free button in the middle of the screen. Here you have two options. If you already have an account with Stripe, our payment processor, click on the blue button on the left. If you don't have a Stripe account, or if you want to first test out DonorBox and link your Stripe account later, sign up with your email using the form on the right. Once you've signed up, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. This is where you will find all of your campaign information, as well as some key statistics about your donations. If you signed up using your email address, click the Sign Up for Stripe button. Without Stripe, we won't be able to process your donations, so make sure not to skip this step. The sign-up process should only take a few minutes. Don't worry, it's completely secure and reliable. If you already have a Stripe account, click the Sign In button at the top right of the screen. Now that your Stripe account is set up, you're ready to create your first campaign. Click the New Campaign button on your dashboard. You will be redirected to the campaign form. Start by naming your campaign and entering your campaign description to let your donors know exactly what they are contributing to. If necessary, you can also change the language or currency of your form. Once that is all filled out, click Next. The next step to set up your campaign is to choose which donation amounts you want displayed on your form. These serve as a guideline for your donors, as they'll always have the option to input their own desired amounts. We recommend that you add an explanation of what each donation amount can provide. For example, $60 can represent a semester's worth of school supplies for a child, while $2,000 equates to a scholarship for one year's tuition. Then, you can choose to add a donation goal for your campaign. If you set a goal, a donation meter will be displayed above your donation form, making it easy for you and your donors to keep track of your progress. You then have to set your minimum donation amount. The minimum we allow is $3, as this discourages scammers from testing stolen credit cards on your donation form. Once that is set, you can choose to display a thank you message to thank your donors for their donation. If a simple display message isn't enough, the next step of the campaign form allows you to customize the email receipt that will be sent to your donors. You can edit the subject line and email body as you wish. Now we get to the fun part. The next step of the campaign form is the advanced setup section where you can personalize your donation form so that it best fits your wants and needs. First, you can choose to collect certain pieces of information from your donors, such as their address, phone number, or employment information. You can also choose to add a legal disclaimer to your form, if need be, and you can edit the URL of your donation form. If you have Google Analytics or another analytics service, you can also add your tracking code in the text box. Then, you can choose whether to disable or enable recurring donations, as well as custom amounts, donation dedications, and the option to only enable recurring donations. You can also ask your donors to cover your processing fees instead of having to pay for them yourself, or ask them if they want to designate their donations to a specific mission or department of your nonprofit. Finally, you can add any additional questions you wish to ask your donors. You can choose which screen of the donation form you want the question to appear on, as well as the format of the question. If you wish to add multiple additional questions, just click the blue plus sign at the bottom of the page. Once you have successfully personalized your donation form, you can also edit the Twitter share message that donors will be able to share on their profiles once they have donated. Finally, you can also customize the appearance of your donation forms. You can choose from the five preset colors we have picked out, or you can use a hex color code. Just click in the hex color text box and a new toolbox will appear. Once you've picked out the color of your choice, click Save and Preview, and the donation form for your first campaign will be ready to go. Now that your donation form is all set up, I'm going to show you how to embed it into your website. I'll be using a WordPress website as my example, but you can embed this code onto any type of website or blog. Start by going to your donor box dashboard and finding the campaign you want to embed on your site. Click the Embed Form button. Here again, you have options to personalize your form. You can choose to display your campaign description and legal disclaimer, set your recurring donations on by default, or hide your donation meter. Feel free to preview your form at the bottom of the page to make sure it's just the way you want it. 
Once you've selected your options and copied the code, go to your WordPress page editor and find or create the page on which you want to post your form. After naming your page, make sure you are on WordPress's text editor as opposed to a visual editor and paste the donation form in bed code. Then, all you have to do is publish your WordPress page and wait for the donations to come in. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our DonorBox blog for more information and other integration guides.